Hi, I'm Michael Brown and I'm the beauty expert for Rescue and today we have Natasha Oakley in the beauty bubble chair. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you as well. <laughs> Looking bronze and fabulous. I try. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been traveling a lot lately. I've been following you on Instagram. Your whole life is basically on a plane and at beaches and tropical locations. So tell us about how that is for you as a lifestyle. I mean, it's fantastic. My office is literally the world. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, it, it, it means I'm on the beach every day. And if I'm not, as you said, I am in a plane. So mm -hmm. it's important to have sort of a routine that goes with that to yeah. sort of in relation to beauty, of course, keep everything looking glowing. So you're and a fresh. blogger. You're you also started Bikini a Day, which is obviously now the, like a massive thing for you. Yeah, that, hence why you travel so much these beautiful locations. Mm -hmm. With blogging and obviously your lifestyle being so outdoors and obviously in nature, how do you bring in some beauty products in there and still look? you know, so glam, but yet you're, you're obviously wearing a bikini, so it's natural. Yeah, well, I really am all about like a natural look. So I don't really go overboard with products, but there's definitely the essentials that I'll yeah. rely on in my day-to-day -day life. And um, some of the main things are to be always moisturizing, always wear sunscreen, yeah. drink a lot of water. They're like my, my basics so to the prep just is keeping important. the glow. Yeah. yeah. So you've got some Kiehl's here, which I love. So mm -hmm. this is obviously a hydrating cream. So one of your favorite products, is it, for moisture? Absolutely. It's like a lightweight cream, so it's not too heavy, and it's just always gives you the moisturization yeah. that you need on your face. But well, the lightweights are good because they actually infuse water quicker. So when you're putting on foundation, for example, that moisture is going to be amazing for you. Yeah. And speaking of foundation, one of your favorites here is the YSL, the Tushy Cloud Foundation. Absolutely. Why do you love it so much? It just goes on so smoothly it's like butter and it doesn't love feel like you're wearing foundation which is really important for me I'm not a big makeup girl I don't Maybe, like yeah. packing it on yeah so it's just a really natural feeling that will give you a glow to your face and it looks really smooth obviously too yeah and it's it's not too matte it's got a bit of a, bit you of know, a shine to it yeah and so how do you go with your color because obviously you must tan very easily being outdoors so much yes. do you find with your face it's hard with the different tones or different sun factors on the face you might get discoloration I have pretty even skin so I'm lucky for that yeah. but I usually will stay in the shade with my face at a minimum and I'll always wear sunscreen so even yeah. though I'm very tan it's just because I'm around like beaches a lot All and I time, naturally yeah. have olive skin because so many girls say like I go out and I tan but my face doesn't tan or vice versa so they've yeah. always got the two-tone effect I mean so you're very lucky then I think I've just grown up on the beach so yeah. like my skin hasn't even had a chance to sort of you know <laughs> go it's one way or the rest. other it's never at yeah. rest and two other products here because I can see today as well obviously a statement lip is amazing for yeah. any girl to just dress up their look you know but obviously with the eyes you do wear eye makeup but I've noticed you've brought in a very nude palette today so the Absolutely. urban decay and you can kind of see they're all nude tones so do yes. you ever branch into color or do you keep it simple with the nudes? I do really keep it simple with the nudes yeah. and I'll occasionally do a smoky black but that's occasionally yeah. generally I love the neutral colors the browns and yeah the earthier tones. Fair enough fair enough is that because of what you're wearing in bikinis and whatnot in your fashion sometimes and prints and a bit more bold do you think or um, just your general well it's just more of like a beachy vibe and yeah. you know the more natural sort of look so yeah. um I'll, I'll sometimes mix it up like the red lip I've worn today which is lip. like kind of daring you it's know great. <laughs> and a good color it makes the teeth look white it's nice and matte it's a matte oh, I love it it's yeah. gonna be good yeah. yeah and how about the skin I mean because your skin's always exposed pretty much in your lovely photos mm -hmm. so do you have a skin routine for the body obviously you probably don't need the fake tan as such but mm -hmm. do you moisturize and keep it buttered up and looking fresh um yeah well i always like to have you know smooth silky moisturized skin yeah. so um, don't we all <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'll always make sure that i'm that i'm waxed yeah. um i'm actually here in australia right now because i'm an ambassador for veet's new summer collection that's oh coming wonderful out. okay yeah and i'll always stay moisturized and occasionally i'll use like a shimmer a skin shimmer when i'm going out at night or a bit, bit of a it, highlight and, yeah in yeah. the tropical location and that's always nice, nice and on shoots to use that as well yeah, because it's it's great to know that your face highlighter that you use here for me as a makeup artist for shoots I often use it on things like collarbones mm -hmm. and even down the front of the legs and the arm yeah so, so those products can be used mix and match face and body I think it's wonderful yeah so what is your number one top beauty tip something that someone's told you or, or that you know yourself just works wonders for you what's your, your, your number one okay well really the one tip that I would give is 
to just keep it natural looking. I know it's like such a basic thing to say, but yeah. I just, I can't stand when there's a really pretty girl and she has too much, so makeup, much makeup on, on to where yeah. I'm like, like you're so gorgeous. I've even said it to my friends and I've like <laughs> rubbed it off their face and yeah. I've been like, there you are. Like you look gorgeous without that much makeup. Don't go too heavy on yeah, the eyeliners. Keep, keep that as like a look for maybe going out one time and if it suits what you're wearing, but it's generally day to day, yeah, keep it true. to a minimal. I think people see celebrities and they think, wow, we must have to pack it on to look that great. No. But you don't have to and you're living proof. Natural and fresh is better. And I think using your fingers, really staining products into the skin and moulding them so they fuse is perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. I agree. So natural beauty, keep the skin hydrated. We love it. And thank you so much for coming into the Beauty Bubble. Thank you for Lovely having me. Lovely to see you.